Hello gamers! Today we are playing a rock bottom character, one that is going to be surprisingly a lot harder than I believe you guys might think. Treasure room right in here, we got a belly jelly that is Humongo. Big fan of this one, this is going to be defensively incredible, I am fat as hell. So this character cannot get stat downs, however they can drain their stats. So let's say we get like a soy milk, we will get the benefit of a bajillion different tier rate with no damage down, but naturally our stats do the We've played a character just like this, but this is an updated version and I wanted to test them out because the one that we played before seemed kind of annoying, I'm not gonna lie. It didn't really feel very balanced, but this seems a bit more fine-tuned. The reason being is they've added this little pocket active item called antidepressant and when we use it, it actually makes it so we stop draining our stats. So if we use it consistently and constantly, we're gonna have a lot better of a time than we did previously playing this character. Luckily for us though, they do start with above average stats to make up for the fact that their stats drain. So this will help us carry through these early floors until we can get maybe like a Squeezy, a Cat of Nine Tails, some basic damage or tears. Uh, and then we can continue to move forward. Not the case today. Basement is a little bit troll with the dog food, but let's just move forward. We got this guys, no biggie. Nice, immediate treasure room. I'm probably just gonna go straight up. Oh, nice stats. Uh, and then use the antidepressant in here and then we can take our time. Interesting that they did get a red heart from SMB and the HP up from the boss. So despite starting with three broken hearts and two soul hearts, they can get red hearts. They're just a very, very fragile character, both in gameplay and also the figurative sense. I'm gonna clear out this room and then go straight to the boss, use the antidepressant in there. That's gonna be the most effective. We gotta APM, maximize our stats, and figure out where most of our time will be spent so that we don't lose like a, you know, 12 tier rate over the course of like a delirium fight. Okay, Rain Maker gone. I'm rewarded with that lost coin. This is okay. Should I hit up the devil root? I'm thinking maybe... Nah, nah, I'm not going. I'm a little bit too angelic for that thing. I do like the uh, antidepressant description. Just be happy. It's as simple as that, guys. Simply take pills and just be happy. The solution to everything. Bride is done. We get nothing else. I'm gonna check out the curse room and then we're just gonna go, I think. Greetings, gamer. Oh, nice. It's sick. I do like seeing my shot speed go down as well. I am noticing that that is a uh, not so essential stat but it's it's very noticeable when it goes down my shots do not travel got those two miles per hour type tears try to play as fast as we can while using antidepressant as much as we can assuming we play well enough we should be okay but that tears down is detrimental except it's not because i got rock bottom we'll try and clear the map as much as we can and find the boss last that means we minimize our backtracking and minimize our stat loss it's very essential that we play as fast as possible with this character a warm wood fight is cool. It's very weird seeing uh, the rock bottom character so skinny in that <laughs> in that boss v boss sprite, and then I, uh, you know, I'm just like this fat red dude. A very stark contrast. I, I feel like I'm not playing the correct character right now. Warwood. More like Bozo Wood. That makes zero sense. Give me the caffeine pill and I'm gonna take this. No, I'm not. Okay, listen, I know I have rock bottom, but there's actually no reason to take it after we've already learned what it is. So uh, goodbye. Knock knock, who's there? Curse room? Curse room who? Curse room uh, pill that gives me a luck up and then I got hit for no reason. Very cool, but it didn't matter because that was the most clutch. Feels like I'm walking on sunshine in Isaac history for me personally. Not to mention it was straight up a speed up and this is where the character becomes very interesting. They do take advantage of rock bottom statistics. The logic is there, we just need to find like a devil card or something and we can abuse it like crazy. Is feels like I'm walking on sunshine a luck up? No, no, no. No, that's from the pill. Wow, wait a second. So despite getting the stats, it's like temporary rock bottom. I see. Because we got the luck up, but it's draining. We also got the speed up, which is typically temporary, but we kept it. But it's, you know, it's still draining. Give me the blind. Ooh, not so good. <laughs> is this better? Not really, but it's better than anything. I, I need something. Something's got to cook, and right now there's nothing in the kitchen, so give me. Is going through the entire mirror dimension really even worth it? I feel like I would lose stats over Overall, this is a weird play style. Something I wouldn't really consider. I, f I feel like this isn't worth it. It's worth it because, you know, the pickups are worth it. But in terms of statistics, I'm probably just gonna lose out on stats unless I find a god item in the mirror dimension boss. Very interesting archetype here. Oh, it's a cousin. Shot speed. This makes up for everything. Thank you. Is this gonna drain? That would be hilarious. <laughs> 
<laughs> Wait, it is. So this is draining, but it's also like kind of perma. I mean, in theory, this is actually literally perma. Anytime I feel like my shot speed has gotten too low, could I not just drop the whip worm and then pick it back up? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. This character actually has untapped potential. I see the vision. Look, boom. Oh, man. I, I just want to get my stats back up. Actually, that's just not the case for me. Never mind. A cope moment for real. Reverse devil card. I was reading the external item description of this card. And for the first time ever, I learned that you can insta-kill mom and mom's foot with this. Like, as if you had the Bible? I mean, I guess it literally is the Bible. I just never really thought of it that way. You know what I mean? That's kind of sick, I would say. Oh, goodbye, Wormwood. Take that full-on damage. We're rewarded with more HP, so things are looking absolutely god-awful. <laughs> I go mines, dude. Mines are way too scary with the stats that I feel like I have. Let's go down to regulars. Let's chill out just a bit. The belly jelly will carry my ass. Flooded caves, this is the place to be. Everything's gonna be okay. When we get flooded caves, everything is right in the world. Just double checking that this shot speed will not go back up. Okay, this is a cry about it moment. Lo-fi flooded caves is just the vibes, dude. Potato peeler? Not so much. <laughs> Potato peeler is cool. I mean, it's damage and range on use. I, I don't got the health for it though. I mean, do I? <gasps> Maybe, dude. I think one use could be decent. At least for a cube of meat, an orbital's good. The way I see it is, put it in perspective, if a double deal showed you a 0.2 damage up, a bit of a range up, and an orbital, the cost of one heart, would you do it? Yeah, on 9 times out of 10, I would. Does not look like my range went up, so uh, I actually just spent a heart for cube of meat. Definitely less of a good transaction. <laughs> still good though, still good. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. We're chilling. I gotta go back to the treasure room though first. Super mega lucky. Oh, all mushrooms plus the secret room. And and then some cash, okay. I'm looking for this treasure room, then we're gonna pop the antidepressants in most likely the boss. You have no idea the temptation I have to just pop it right now because I'm seeing my damage dwindle and it's hurting my soul. Actual mental damage. But I have to realize that it's just going to be better in the boss room. So let's not commit just yet. Let's just find the worst active item I've ever seen in the Binding of Isaac. And, and then let's go fight the boss. <laughs> Fistula. This is going to be a long ass fight, guys. Lock in. Goodbye. No angel room. That makes sense. I had only an 18% chance. So let's just go down. Curse of Blind. Unfortunate but not the worst in the world. I definitely think we can claw our way back here. The 0.75 speed, I don't even feel it, dude. I'm feeling fine, actually. I could run a mile and I'd be non-sweat. No water needed. Zero H2O. I've been keeping up with Edmund's tweets recently. He's been talking a lot about his uh, development on Mugenics, his new game. And the things he's saying, the things that he's claiming are really, really cool. Talking about how it has close to the amount of content as Isaac with all his DLCs. He spent five freaking years on it. He's mega proud of it. Every single run is like apparently an hour and a half or so. So kind of like a longer Isaac thing. I've personally never really been too much into uh, turn-based RPGs. But anything Edmund puts out, I'm gonna play, dude. Because I can always appreciate Edmund's game design. Very interested with how that game is gonna turn out. I really want to play that thing. I'm banking on this treasure room, dudes. It's gotta be big. Oh, ho, ho, ho. that is so massive. This is a damage multiplier that is not really like based on your stat. This is like a lifesaver. We can get a lot of damage in without a feeling like it's gonna disappear for the rest of the run. This one's basically a perma. These are the essential types of items you want as this character because these types of items are gonna be yours forever. We're talking like brimstone or revelation or something and you're never gonna have to worry about them ever again. We lost our deal chance because there's this pink cage with zero damage so what the hell did you want from me? <laughs> Goodbye to that revelation dream that's never happening. Later. Oh, there's a soul heart for the next floor. Torn photo. Oh my god. I can't wait for that to be not existed in about two floors. <laughs> a little scared of going to the shop, but I got the cash. I need to do something here. If I don't commit, I feel like I I'm just like completely destroying myself. There it is. Shop. After this, I think I leave. I, I can't spend time on the floors anymore. It's becoming very, very apparent that playing slow is just not the way as this character. I really wish I drops the <laughs> yeah, apple of It's okay. We can make it up with this. There you go. Okay, let's go. Uh, we have to move forward. We have to hope that everything's going to be okay. 
I want to check down a little bit. Just like two rooms because I see this is a dead end. We have the treasure map from the shop. This is going to be very, very, very big as this character. It's going to help us root our run a lot better. And so we will lose a lot less stats. Me picking up treasure map, the way I see it is me like getting effectively like, like plus five damage over the course of the run. Was there anything cool in here? Absolutely not. It was literally a dead end. Okay. It's okay. We handle. We lock in. I don't care if I get hit. We already did not spawn the deal so what i care about is just having near close maximum hearts which we do and then we can take the soul heart to the next floor get our guaranteed angel and then we'll get you know a revelation and everything will be okay not cope very real luck up oh yeah this is actually a reflection of real life luck is a absolute statistic and if you run out then it's game over use your luck while you can and keep gambling never stop let's go dude let's lock in i think we're good i, th I know it seems dire but i think we're okay necropolis maybe Maybe a crane game. No. Okay. Well, <laughs> that was fun. This is really good though. We can see, like I said, treasure map making quick work of knowing where I'm supposed to go. I'm going to go up here first. This could be like a special room, a shop, a, a treasure room, even a, like a 1% planetarium. It's happened to me before. It can happen to you. It can happen to me. Uh, no way that that's the secret room above the boss challenge room though. So no access to that guy. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? Was that not a checkmate position? Was that not literally GG? <laughs> I can't even shoot this guy. I have like no range. For the first time ever, those guys are going to deal contact damage to me. Oh, it is not looking good. All right, listen, I will stop coping. I will face facts. This is terrible. <laughs> I don't even know what I would want from the treasure room. It's just going to get drained anyway if it's a good item. It's got to be something perma and like consistent. I would genuinely over polyphemus take like a, a, a common cold. I'm not kidding. Because that would at least be consistent damage that I know would not go away. If I took Polyphemus, all that would happen was I would get a major damage up for one floor, and then it's gone. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on. Big plays. That's massive. That's exactly what we need. I, I had never seen a funnier looking Isaac. <laughs> That was actually hilarious to see. That was a literal pogging eyes bulging out of his head, Isaac. <laughs> That's how I felt for real, for real, Isaac. Actually so true. This gives us increased deal chance, which we've been needing. And health regen. An important health regen. Because it's the type of health regen where it's soul hearts we could just add on. This may just be possible. Wow, that was the biggest bomb I've ever done done. That was actually humongous. Uh, I will take the dream catcher. Battery's interesting here. I, I guess it would work with the antidepressant, but I'm just using it as much as I can anyway, so I, I don't really see a point, honestly. If it was like a 9 volt, I'd be taking that immediately. But it's the wrong type of battery, so I think we move forward instead. Nice of hearts to help us out. Just kidding, apple of soda moment. Whoa, that was weird. I didn't know that. Did you guys know that? Or did I like misread that? Did that look like the Mask of Infamy bounced? Wait, that is what's happening. Whoa, that's weird. I have never seen that before. If you bounce on the mask, the heart also bounces. And that's the reason that it died. It took wall damage. <laughs> That was a very wacky scenario. The heart, which I did not touch whatsoever, bounced into a non-existent wall. It was actually a hole and exploded and died. That's a uh, good info. I did not know that was an interaction. What I said earlier has become true. We are now sitting at negative luck. It's not looking too good. But all we have to do is just smile, as well as use the Book of Revelations multiple times over and over and over again, and then we'll be okay. I'm feeling a lot better now that we got the book on hand. I also have the secret room. I don't care about this one too much. Later! Oh! Nice! Okay! The most hyped thing about this is the size down. The speed? Whatever. I'm just gonna lose it. In fact, it was so minimal that I'm about to lose it already. What the hell? It's gone. <laughs> That lasted like two seconds. Are you kidding me? What, what, what kind of minimal speed up was that? Oh yeah, we're really moving now. <laughs> I think maybe, just maybe, even though we have literally 2.50 damage, we can definitely clutch this out. It looks like my stats aren't going down anymore. I know I used the antidepressant here, but before we even walked in here, it didn't look like my stats were going down anymore. Maybe that's a cope, but I'm hoping the hard cap at like the minimum that it can grind down to is 2.50 damage. Because even with this damage, with the proptosis, we're doing it an okay amount. I mean, it's basically one damage at least. Look at this, one and then two. 
as if I had the pentagram, as long as I get close enough. That is workable damage, okay? Absolutely. It's most definitely not optimal, nor do I really like it. <laughs> But sometimes you just gotta deal with the cards that you're dealt. And right now we are dealt with the uh, 2.50 damage. So let's deal. Let's deal that damage back to mom. <laughs> Lucky as hell, Blackheart from there. Goodbye. Don't stop me, please. This is one of those days where we get to hear like the weird part of the mom fight feeling that we never get to hear. I will say I'm more of a fan of the original Matricide song instead of the anti-birth version for this one. I really love how the guitar goes like bam bam bam. I've literally never heard this part in my entire life. The, the song ended. <laughs> okay, it actually looped. This is the first time in my lifetime. Still playing strong though. I'm not gonna just give up. I got a 90% angel chance. I can't give that away. Playing solid is the way. Ouchie mama. Goodbye. I just need like three more shots. Please, 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 please. Okay, and I got it. Okay, this has got to be the biggest item I've ever seen in my life. It's really not, but it's not bad either, actually. I will take it. It's good. It increases not my damage. <laughs> Let's increase my damage? No. All right, maybe I don't understand how the character works. GG, it's so over for me. I, uh, let's just go straight to the boss at this point. There's no hope over here. I think we just cope, we move forward. If we try to apply any logic to this, we die. I think instead we just travel as far as we can, pick up as many hearts as we can. There's a tinted rock right there, so I need a bomb. And uh, spam Book of Revelations. And hope Belly Jelly keeps paying out as much as it has been because this thing is carrying. Genuine MVP of the entire run. This is the end for you, boy. He literally just TP'd on me. That was so malicious. You didn't even give me a chance to react. He said, you know what? It's over for you. <laughs> ah! Why, why are my stats back? What? <laughs> I, uh, wait a second. This doesn't make any sense. Why am I so fast all of a sudden? And also, I have all the damage and tears in the world. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, what? <laughs> Is this the way the character is meant to be played or something? <laughs> if these are my stats for the rest of the run, even though they're not significant, I could literally beat the game like this. Better than what I was working with before. This is actually possible. Sun card's cool. I uh, really did explore everything and somehow did not come up with a single bomb. So that's how my life is going. How about you guys? Death is done. I get a ball of bandages. This is better than cube because two orbitals is better than one that can just... Oh! This is humongous. This is actually humongous. I win the game. Gimme you. Do I want uh, satanic? I, it's literally better. Kind of weird to take, but it's also bookworm, so that's more important to me. Okay, so this is now a brimstone run where I get decent stats, and that's it. So you know what? Let's move forward. <laughs> Forgive me for thinking that a rock bottom character would have been easy. I did not understand the rule set, I suppose. I thought it would be way simpler. I mean, I did this before, and I remember it being hard. It was definitely easier this time and more digestible, but man, did that feel kind of rough, dude. I felt like there was zero counterplay to that. But, you know, maybe the skill issue or something. Either way, we got prop brimstone now. So everything is chilling. I've shot this guy like seven times. I'm gonna continue to shoot him. I'm curious how much damage I'm doing. You guys see how much of a tank lord this guy is? He does not falter. He does not fall, dude. How many times have I really shot this man? I'm gonna count. Wow, I did not know how ineffective brimstone proptosis at max range really could be. You have opened my eyes. Knowledge gained a moment. Never, ever, ever not be like mega close to your opponent with a brimstone prop you will be highly useless i don't know how i feel about exploring the rest of this i'm comfortable with what i had i had the most clutch devil deal of my life giving me two quality fours and now i feel like i can actually play the game properly with actual damage that's insane to see i can't believe my eyes holy moly i deal more than like two ticks of damage <laughs> So let's just move forward. I'm happy. Let's not ruin it. I don't know what's happening. Uh, hello. Duality is useless. The false PhD is interesting. I don't know if taking a stat up is gonna fix, like, my drain. I hope not. No? Oh, it's not draining. I seem to have bugged the game. Thank you. <laughs> so, instead, I guess we have rock bottom, but my stats literally can't drain anymore. So it's, it's rock bottom. <laughs> This is how the character should have played. The character should have just been Isaac, but he starts with rock bottom. <laughs> 
That's my type of character. Curse of the Tower, thank you very much. Let's go find that Satan, and I'm pretty sure I know where that man is. Have I really been playing for 50 minutes? I feel like it's been 20. It's crazy to me how much time passes when I play Isaac, dude. I could be running absolute negative gigo damage, and it would seem like it's taking forever, but in my mind, it just does not play out that way. I have so much fun playing the game, even with like a really bad build. Time just flies away. I feel like if I were to be like a 12-year-old kid during this time, I would have actually thrown my life away to this game. It is so easy to lose track of time playing this. <laughs> I wouldn't even be mad. Throwing your life away for Isaac to enjoy dead god grind is that one of the most blissful things in life, I say. Satan Gaming, you are so done for now that I have access to Brimstone and not terrible statistics. I do gotta give it out to the mod creator though. You definitely did create a character that makes me depressed. So you truly did follow up the name. I appreciate it. You know, there's an even harder version of this character. Like, I played the original without the antidepressants. Why is Delirium over there? That's weird. And now there's this version with the antidepressants, the kind of reworked version. But there's also a tainted version of this character, which is literally just created to be a hard version of this guy. Not even this guy, the hard version of the hard guy. You know how hard that guy would be? Unbelievably hard. I couldn't even imagine it. 2-3 Guppy. Actually, I am Guppy. Wow! Everything worked out perfectly. Goodbye to you. Do I even take this? Uh, nah. I'm now Guppy with Brimstone. This is a classic Rebirth Vanilla type run. We're just gonna move forward and destroy everything in our wake. Nothing can survive and we might get conjoined on the way. Still gotta take my antidepressants every now and then. Not for the context of the Binding of Isaac, but we're talking in real life. <laughs> Boom! Ouija board! Thanks for the tears up, man. God, does it feel good to see 1.50 and not 1.49, 1.48, 1.47. Anxiety inducing character. Another ch- oh! Hey, that's how it is, guys. Listen, that is just the way it has to be. Sometimes you find Polyphemus Brimstone and everything is okay in the world. This is my vibe. Everything is making way more sense immediately. This is way more like it. $3 bill plus some gish. I appreciate it. Now we are actually Binding of Isaac Gaming. Got a compound fracture here. That's pretty cool. Secret room. Eh, it's a nothing. So many quality fours at the very tail end. Guppy's tail included. No pun intended. Bob's curse is sick. Yeah, Polly, Brim, Satanic, and a Guppy's Tail from the Dark Room chest is basically the only reason I got Polyphemus. Boom! Hourglass, don't need that. We're making our way to the land very comfortably. I see nothing that can stop us. We have the health regen necessary. And the damage once I- Whoa! This turned out to be completely nasty. This is the game making up for the trials and tribulations I had to go through with the depressed character. Now the game is like, dude, that was kind of rough, bud. Go ahead and take a break, dude. You need it. <laughs> Another one, tech point five is nice. There's a shady. And then this is the very, very end. What a weirdo run. I actually had fun though, to be honest with you. Trying to figure out the character, trying to cope, and trying to come up at the very end, giving ourselves some of the best items in the game with the poly brimstone play. We are actually not done. Give me this delirium void. This guy's done for. I promise you with utmost excellence that this delirium man will not survive. There is nothing this guy can do. He is going to explode the moment I come across. Him. And that is always a good feeling. That's the kind of feeling I want when I play Isaac. Ghost bombs. That is a delirium unlock. Thanks. Kind of a very strung together void. If we look at this, it's it's very linear here. So many different rooms are just literally chunked together. That's kind of weird. I don't see that too often in void floors. Hello, you cannot be delirium. So give me your free item, please. It's mom's braha. I don't even care about it to pick it up. Ah, here you are. Depressed versus delirium, except I am actually healthy now. I got help. I talked to people. I spoke with my friends, my family, my teachers. I am no longer depressed. My stats no longer drain. I'm actually the joyful. Wow, look at that mega melting damage because of no armor on delirium. What a way to end it, man. Poly, Brim, and Tech X out of absolutely nowhere, clutching it out for me and giving me the best time I could have ever hoped for. Thanks very much for watching. I love you guys. And G. GG!